So this is your home page if you are in Google+. And there are three ways to start a Hangout from right just this screen. You have start a Hangout here. You can start an individual Hangout with any person who has a little camera icon right there. Or you can start a Hangout from here. Now you can also start Hangouts from your Gmail. You can start Hangouts from Calendar. You can start Hangouts from your mobile phone. So today we're only going to do Google+. In the Hangout tab, you can join existing Hangouts. You can view Hangouts on air that are happening right now. And you can also search for Hangouts, um, public Hangouts. So let's start a Hangout. When you start a Hangout, there are different options to invite people. Click on their icon. You can type their name. And when you come here and you start like a regular Hangout, you can invite circles, extended circles, and the public. Let's talk about circles just for a second, because it's important for Hangouts. You can divide. You can, you can think about circles the same, thing, the same way you think about circles in your own life. You have your circle of friends. You have your coworkers. You have your vendors. You have your clients. If you go out on town right, with your friends, your coworkers will never find out about it, because they're not the same circle. So the same thing happens exactly on Google+. Plus. If you put someone in a circle and you share something just with that circle, no one on the planet will know except these people in the circle. And even if they have the direct link to that post, they won't be able to see it. They get a 404. Um, if you start your profile, don't be a blue head. That's what we call them. Don't be blue heads. Put a picture up there so people know who you are. So you can invite people like that, type their name, um, and then you can also invite them by phone. So let's say you are working with someone and you need to have them on the Hangout but they don't have, they're not available on video, you can call them. Just enter their phone number. And you add them to the Hangout. And you have my phone number right there. Right, yes, OK. And then if you click here, this will be on air. It will be broadcasted and recorded on YouTube. If you don't, this is a private Hangout just between these three people. Also, I want to tell you, if you uh, choose public from here, like this, this will be available to anyone in the planet. So if you're doing office hours, for example, and you don't know who your clients might be, you might want to start a public hangout. And just promote it on your website or in your, any of your social media outlets, and let people join you in the hangout. And you'll be surprised who you might meet. And then you just click hangout. So when you do that, I invited the phone number, my phone. So it's calling me. I'm going to answer. And now I'm going to hang out on my phone. If you have meetings, if you need someone to join and hang out, but you don't really need to see their face, then you can call them on the phone from wherever you are. You cannot do that on Hangouts on Air, only on private Hangouts. So let's look at this screen. What do we have here? So the chat, so when you have 10 people right here, you see Elijah, you see Steven, you see me, we can have 10 people here from all over, from their mobile, from anywhere they are. Sometimes, let's say, Stephen and I are in a conversation and Elijah want to say something. Instead of interrupting, he can just chat right here. And he can, this is a good place also to put any links. If you want to tell someone, hey, look at something, this is a good place to send a URL instead of trying to have them find a website. Um, these are all your applications. You can add any application that you want. If you click on this one, you'll see more applications that are available. And you can add apps right here. And there are plenty of apps. People play games. People play trivia, watch YouTube, Google Effects, and all that other stuff. Explore. It's not going to break your computer. But that's why um, Chrome is important, because some of these apps are not going to work in Internet Explorer. Uh, the next one is Screen Share. Basically, when you click on Screen Share, you can choose whatever window you want on your desktop and share that. And it's not going to be shown here, so I'm going to cancel it. Next one, Google Docs. This allows you to share, to create notes. So basically, let's say you have a meeting and you have someone who takes notes. You can take notes right here, create notes. Or you can start, uh, you can use a document, an existing document that you already have. When you click Create Notes, it's going to alert you that everyone on the Hangout is going to have your email address because they're going to be sharing that same document with you. This will be saved in Drive for later use. So this is OK. You can remove permissions later on. And you can also create a sketch pad and just draw things. YouTube app is really amazing. This is fascinating. Because what it does, it allows everyone at the same time to watch the same video. If I'm playing a video right here, you can see there's a playlist. And I'll just play that one. 
What happens is, as you can see when it's playing, I'm automatically muted. Look at my microphone right here. It's muted. So everybody can watch the same video at the same time without having anyone else interrupting. If you wanted to talk while the video is taking place, you have to click on push to talk. Now when I'm pausing this, this is pausing for Elijah as well. So if you're a business owner, how can you use this? You can use it to train people. Let's say you have a product that you need to demonstrate, but you can't actually demonstrate it live with your camera. What you can do is record a YouTube video, play it to everybody on the Hangout, pause it, and ask them, do you have any questions? This is great for universities, training material, um, anything else that you need to discuss. It's also fun to just sit with your peers and watch a video together. You know how you usually send videos one another, and then you wait back, and it's like, LOL, that's funny. Here, you can actually see the response. You can do uh, market research, market testing with this. You put your commercial out there or your video out there, and you can see the responses on people's faces. If they're not laughing when you wanted them to laugh, something's wrong with the video. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you can also create a playlist, so everybody can add their own videos to here. There are, there's a group of photographers on Google+, Plus. that's what they do. They get together on a Hangout, they play music while they work. So the Hangout is just in the background. They're working, but everybody adding their own YouTube video to listen to music. And then you can save your playlist for later use if you liked it. So it's a great way to be introduced to music. And then finally, right here, you have Hangout Lower Third. Sometimes if you have meetings with your vendors, your companies, you have 10 people, you don't really know them. This is a great way to brand your Hangout. Sorry, right here. And this is a part now of the Hangout Toolbox. And so what it does, it basically puts a little banner. You turn it on. And let me go back to my to me. <laughs> and you can see that I'm Ruben right now. It's in reverse because uh, it's mirrored, so the people who are watching it see it correctly. You will see it reversed. But you can put flags here. You can put a clock. You can brand yourself. You can put on the bottom uh, your URL. And this will be saved on YouTube. If you're broadcasting, when, you're, uh, when this is recorded, this will be embedded in the broadcast. And then, of course, you have the Google Effects. So, of course, if someone says something nice. And if you're introducing a guest, and if someone's boring you. And of course, there are all kinds of, uh, this needs to track my face. Um, anyway, so Google Effects, my three-year-old loves it. <laughs> um, so that's it. So that's about Hangout. The, most, uh, the one that I love the most is the Google Drive, and Kate will dive into that. Do you have any questions about this right now? How do you start a Hangout? Go here. Download Chrome, yes. <laughs> OK. So I see, I'm a little bit different there, but I see Hangouts as being the center of the Google universe. You can connect it to search, you can connect it to documents, to Drive, to YouTube, to the social area Google Plus, it's connected to your mobile, it's like the center, and it connects people. Rather than actually talking to them or texting to them, you see them face to face, and you can see the reaction. So it brings out your social interaction to a new level. So here are some innovative uses of Hangouts. As a business owner, you can use that to gather testimonials, basically uh, grab, grab your audience, grab your clients, your best clients, and on a, on a Hangout, and do it on air, and ask them why did they choose your business. And that's an immediate video testimonial for you on YouTube. It doesn't have to be long. It can be like 10 minutes. And you have it right there. So you know, usually you have very expensive video productions. You can host focus groups like we just talked about. You can teach and learn. You can launch a product. And I think Mazda did that. One of, the, one of the car companies launched their product in uh, the, car, the new car commercial before the Super Bowl on a hangout. You can interview uh, VIP if there's anyone in your industry that you want to talk to. Um, I, that's what I do every week. You're welcome to join me. You can hold discussions. Um, you can go behind the scenes, and this is really cool. Like If you have a business and people don't know how you operate, sometimes it's really cool to come back and just see how do you do stuff. So you can give that to your, to your customers. And of course, customer support, face-to-face, -face, it's really awesome. So 2012 was the beginning of Google Hangouts, and this is what it looked like.
We're the first ones that are doing it like this. It's history. I have a new single that I really want to premiere. Nom, 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 nom. Google Plus, this is Houston. Let's do this song. Oh. Oh. Because when you're talking to a late night comedian, the best thing to do is probably get his thought on the colonization of other planets. Wow, Ronnie. Hey everyone, it's Ellie. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to sign this album right here. So, what would you like to write? Oh my God. Can I hug you? <laughs> How does it feel to go that fast? You just glide in on. What is it that drives you? I love track and field. Fame, downfalls. For me, the work is intense, but I want to be a legend. That's the biggest thing that you can do in life. You have to dream. I'm going over. Jump away. <laughs> Mr. President, welcome to Google Plus. Thanks, everybody. I couldn't be more excited to bring you into my world. I'm from Germany. Chile. Regards from your brain. I already say hi. That's the whole world. So I predict 2013 will be the year of the Hangouts, not just the year of the video. And I really encourage you guys to jump on it if you're not already, because if you don't, your competition will. And if you need any help, that's what we're here for. Uh, before I finish, let's just talk numbers. Alex Madojan is an internet marketer. He made, you know him? <laughs> awesome guy, really great guy. He, uh, he made a million dollars in 27 minutes, so he kind of knows what he's doing online. He saved $24,000 a year switching from WebEx to Hangouts. Uh, my friend Paul Ramson is a hypnotist. He started doing Hangouts. He doesn't get a lot of people into doing Hangouts yet, but he noticed that since he started doing that, he doubled his subscribers on YouTube. So what's the value of a subscriber to you? Travel like uh, Elizabeth talked about can get to almost $90,000 a year if you have six employees or traveling. There's a study saying that one out of three people, uh, employees, missing child's birthdays and important family occasions because they have to fly on meetings, and sometimes the meeting is just a face-to-face -face interaction. You can do all that with Hangouts. So to cut down that cost, people started doing teleconferencing, and that cost also starts at like $90,000 going down to half the second year. You can see like that graph where it does, and Google Hangouts are free. So jump on that. And then for you guys, like Elizabeth was saying, your own time, your own money, your own health, what will you do if you stay at home? How happier will you be? And I, I, you know, my, my passion is that I believe that because you connect on Google Plus uh, based on passion, and you connect with people, and the relationship is so deep, it makes you happier. And that happiness will ripple, like the ripple effect. And so that's my goal. <laughs> Make a world happy, happy world. <laughs> So this is very overview, very high level. There's a free five lesson course over two weeks. It's not very um, long or deep, but it will give you insights of how do you start uh, Hangout from Gmail, how do you integrate it with your calendar, and all the other stuff you can do with it. And of course, if you need me, I'm available. Thank you, Ifa. Give her a hand. <laughs>